In these tutorials, we're going to create this scenery. Uh, mostly, we're going to focus on specific techniques with an ecosystem, and we'll use it the rocks as example and see how those layers of the ecosystem can interact with each other to create this uh, kind of pile of rocks based on a big rocks, medium and small ones, and also spread around. As well, we'll work on the atmosphere and um, terrain shape and specific way how we can um, inverse terrain to create even more interesting um, from existing terrains. So again, this is will provide for us base to see in the future tutorials how we can create more complex interaction with the ecosystem to create nice epic landscapes. So let's go ahead and begin. So let's go ahead and start by creating terrain. I'm going with a very basic terrain right here. Okay, we'll expand. A uh, couple things I want to modify. I want to go to inside the terrain editor. Okay, right here. And inside terrain editor, I'm going to pop resolution just up a little bit. We'll go to disable our edges. So we will have it like full terrain. And click on the young mountains. So you can see we have quite a bit interesting effect going on right there. Okay, next, I want to open the function and you can just edit function click. This will open additional tab for you. And on altitude, what I want to do, I want to add, let's go to filter and we'll go to opposite. Okay. And I want to just select right here, actually. So now let's go from this to that area and select altitude. I just want to be sure that this not select to the altitude. Okay, when we're done, let's go back to terrain editor and you can see we have kind of cool blobs. It's what I was going after, you know, just something very interesting on this terrain. So we'll click OK here. Okay, and let's take this terrain and just a little bit flatten down. Next, we'll take our camera and put this on the middle, maybe around here. Okay, we can go a little bit up. And in preview, we can actually go around and you can see we have an interesting type of the terrain. Of course, if you want it, you can always take and go a bit more flutter. So they're all kind of effect and let's you know the till with flutter I want just bring a little bit up so aside in some areas we start losing okay so right here we have our very interesting terrain we can actually go to the edge maybe at one point rotate so we'll preview and give it us almost like look or this kind of blobby valley so in a terrain, what I want to do, it's work a little bit more with ecosystem. And in this project, we can add more details, but mainly it's understanding how we can work with the, if, uh, how with affection between different type of the layers of the ecosystem, how they interact between each other. So it will help you to create very complex type of the ecosystem with the plants, with the grass around, flowers, and all this stuff around. So we'll, it's what we're going to do. So for this, we're going to use the material editor. And if you're in a basic mode, be sure just click on advance. So we have access to all of this material editor, to all options. And this is our basic ground. So I want to leave this as default. What I want to do is add additional layer. And on this one, we'll go and call um, ecosystem. Okay, and let's rename this large rocks. So this is will be our main rocks. Okay, we'll go inside our eco general tab on ecosystem and we'll go to add rocks. And one rock I want to do, it's a one cracker boulder. So those ones look awesome. We go put this in, let's go in a density reduce density on this but i want pop up scale up to 10. so let's click populate and you can see we have a lot of those cool big rocks 
Okay, we can actually take a density probably a little bit more down. Okay, so let's go to take maybe about two, populate. Okay, I think this will look kind of interesting in this way. Um, and maybe, you know, pop up even larger. So there you go. This is large rocks. Um, some of them look funny. So to make look sit more in, we want actually to drop them down to the ground. And actually dropping it will be minus two. So we'll put a minus two. Populate and you see right here they kind of a little bit more sit in the ground. And maybe instead minus two, maybe more. Let's go minus five. So that's yeah, right here you can see they much better seating. Okay, so this is one. Um, next, let's add some more rocks around this. So we'll go to create a new layer. Okay, and then this new layer, let's go call medium size rocks. Okay. Also, we go to convert this to the ecosystem as well. And we'll add same type of the rocks we're going to add. Only one thing what I want to do right here, see where it says infinity with layers. We want to bring this to about 85, 87. So what it does, it will look on layer below, larger rocks, and will affecting, will almost like magnet, bring those closer to them. So we'll go to the density. Let's leave it as default for now. Same as the scaling. But only we'll take minus one. So they will shrink a bit more down. So we'll go populate. Let's see how many we have it. And you will see the rocks will shoot coin a little bit around this, except a little bit down. I think minus one was too much. So let's go minus point two. It's mean a 20 minus 20 centimeters. Let's go to meter. And we should see more rocks right around this area. See how many. Okay, let's go bring a little bit more density on this. As well, we'll take scaling and bring our scaling maybe to about two, something around there. Three maybe. Okay, let's look what we have it. And you can see we, yeah, we have a nice rock start climbing together. Okay, let's bring just a little bit more and pop up density higher. Let's go populate. Much better. You can see how those rocks start playing very well density more and there you go so we have it one rocks and around so let's preview this one okay so right here you can see our rocks big rocks and we start those rocks kind of bring them closer to um maybe you know maybe drop them a little bit more into the ground so let's do this minus 20 we go minus 0.3 just drop them slightly more in the ground Okay, so let's go next layer we're going to create, and this one layer will be small rocks. Okay, same so we convert to ecosystem, and we're going to use exactly the same rocks what we used before. Only on this case, we'll pop up density way higher, but affinity we drop a little bit more to maybe about 64, maybe 50. So I want I think what it does, it will attract them, but I don't want too close. So it kind of like almost big rock and it's start falling apart around this. So let's populate. Yes. Thresholds, so we'll see how many. We may decrease some of the instance. We'll see in a second. Okay, so we have right there. And on a preview, so when it's refreshed, you can see we have it a rocks. They spread a little bit too much out. So I'm going to here affinity and we'll bring a little bit closer to them. Okay, let's also drop density down. Populate it now. Should have it a little bit closer. Okay, right there. You can see on a preview, yes, much better. Small rocks around there. Um, let's also drop them to minus 0.10. So that we'll have it 10 centimeters in the ground, kind of soaking down. Okay, there you go. So look much more interesting. And let's create also rocks, just spread teeny tiny rocks will spread around. For this will create another layer. Okay, 
so rocks around every place and we'll just switch this to ecosystem so same things let's go ahead and add same rock will be there we want to decrease density actually no let's bring just a little bit closer not too much but a little bit closer spread here minus point 15 so it's 15 centimeters inside let's populate should be spread them around places okay and you can see right here we can kind of put them around you know maybe even minus point three let's see 30 centimeters i just want them almost kind of be on the ground but sticking a little bit out of the ground almost like there you go that's look a little bit better okay same let's bring affinity a little bit closer increase density just create this interesting rock lapse kind of around okay so look nice so next what's happening right here if we're going on those tabs and you can see right here where we have material we can actually click on the rock material and it's open for us our rock material so what i want to do is go in highlights and take highlights slightly down to and almost to none so this will apply to all rocks which is kind of nice and also i want to right here and um, create snapshot of materials and create in a slot so we just go right there and we're creating one snapshot you can see i already have one of them done uh, why i want this snapshot so when we're done okay let me update all these materials then i can go back to my terrain open my terrain and on this default i actually want to go and apply the same material by double time clicking so you can see it's look like all these belong together which is much more interesting next we'll go take camera right now and we can actually come slightly closer down let's go right here and of course we're up front we can move it more around okay look this way reposition camera so i can have a much more interesting look okay let's go to render preview and i think for this portion will be done with these rocks and we can go create more um kind of atmosphere play but look right here with the same materials we have a very nice very interesting um landscape we have these massive rocks and all these clumping rocks around with small and other ones spread around so look like natural um, we could go ahead and add grass with avoiding so we'll have more grass around the area and it will have it like mid-earth kind of look for this